Thank you. If you've been a producer long enough, and you've been responsible for a consistently high quality of motion picture production, the Academy's Board of Governors might consider you for the Thalberg Award. The Thalberg to a producer is what the Nobel Prize is to a chemist, the Pulitzer to a novelist, and the Kentucky Derby to a horse owner. Tonight, a man who has already been honored with the Thalberg Award will present it. Ladies and gentlemen, Stanley Kramer. It's said that Louis B. Mayer once told Irving Thalberg, Irving, New York doesn't like artistic films. And Thalberg replied, LB, it isn't that New York doesn't like artistic films. They don't like artistic films that don't make money. <laughs> now, Thalberg was right to say that because a picture does make money. It can't have artistic quality as a cliché. The gap between box office success and artistic success narrows each year, which speaks well, I think, for audiences and filmmakers. This year, a distinguished contributor to the narrowing of that gap is the worthy recipient of the Thalberg Award. Consider a few of the films that have come from his sound stages to your theaters. Some Like It Hot, The Magnificent Seven, The Apartment, West Side Story, Fiddler on the Roof, In the Heat of the Night, Midway. It's quite a list. Uh, the Thalberg legend is our buffer against delusions of adequacy. And the production of such a work is the winner, of such works is the winner of the Irving Thalberg Memorial Award for 1978. Mr. Walter Mirisch. Thank you, Stanley. Even though I'm one of the few people here tonight who's not been sweating out the opening of an envelope, I assure you this is one of the most deeply felt moments of my life. From the time I produced my first motion picture, I've always considered this award to be the highest recognition that can come to a member of my profession. So thanks to the Board of Governors and the membership of the Academy. They have enriched my life beyond description. I also want to acknowledge the enormous contributions, both to my work and whatever success I have had at it, that have been made by my brother Marvin and my late brother Harold. They have been my indispensable collaborators from the very beginning. And then my thanks go to all the talented producers, directors, writers, actors, actresses, Jesse, and countless others who have been a part of all the Mirish Company films. They all share this honor with me. These are exciting times for us filmmakers. There is now the widest diversity of subject matter available to us. Technical excellence is at an all-time high. Creative young people are entering our profession in all areas, and audience interest continues to grow. I am stimulated by my work as never before. I love this magnificent, aggravating, fascinating art industry, and I pledge to do my utmost in the coming years and in future films to continue to merit your approval. Thank you. <laughs> 